you'll have more gratitude than you know how to count once the night song is in my hands. Do you have it or not? Then you do know her. You've been to Shah's temple. To the Shadowfell. You've looked upon the Night Song's face. Tell me, and choose your next words carefully. Where is she now? I'm growing tired of this repartee, my friend. Let us cut to the chase. Beautiful, isn't it? Worth more than your life, too. I bought it from a Kalashite warlock. Very little of his soul left to him. Hmm. It can bind a celestial to the wearer's service with a snap of the fingers. And this? This can keep her in place. Forever. It didn't work out for poor Kethrick, did it? He was a fool. A desperate mercenary who hoard out his soul to whichever god flattered him. <laughs> I serve no god, but that which stares back at me in the mirror. The night song will be put to a grand purpose, equalizing man and god. Whoever helps me attain that which I seek will be greatly rewarded. Of course not. But perhaps, after enough lifetimes, I might make a start of it. He would seek the power of gods for the pettiest of reasons. His own gratification. At least I seek them for the better of all. Uh, what's that? I didn't quite catch the words, but the insolent tone was clear enough. Uh, pitying, not insolent. You chase one power without knowing an even greater one lies within my reach. The crown of Carsus. Once we acquire it, your ambitions will be dwarfed. I'll be able to stand against Mistra and wrest her powers from her for the betterment of all. The crown of Carsus? Nonsense. Even if it still existed, you couldn't possibly handle its power. <laughs> Perhaps you could not. But Netheril's power is in my blood. And Mistra? I know her in ways that most mortals can only dream of. Ah. So it is you. Mistra's discarded lapdog. And now you think your bark is cause to make me tremble? There is no need for me to bark. My actions will speak for themselves. In time. Then go. Axe, I'll open a fine vintage in your name once word of your failure reaches me. Hmm. We shall see. Won't we? Do as I say, and you will be rewarded beyond imagination. Fail, and you give up the prize to the next motivated mercenary to encounter my contract. The choice is yours. But make no mistake, I always get what I want.
Seems like a good moment to talk. Mother's milk, your visage speaks of ill tidings. Speak, ally mine. What troubles you? Is he indeed? Pray tell, what does he seek from Dame Aelin? Let them come, and let them find me. Dame Aelin will strike down any who seek to bring her to harm's home. Yet, it is better to cut off the head of the snake than to let its slithering snakeling swarm us unabated. This wizard, this wizard, must be held to account. I will wring his neck until he's dead. His end will be one more strand in the great braid of our friendship. I'm coming with you. I'd like to get a few licks in myself. My darling, we agreed you'd scout for the nearest Salunite enclave this very night. Let us divide our efforts, all the sooner to be reunited. I won't let you go alone. Who knows what this wizard might have planned? Our closest ally will accompany me, won't you? It will be a swift and fruitful chore. Hie we to this Laroican right away. I am as eager to meet him as he is to ensnare me. Magician in a tower, hiding away from the frightening world. What are you so scared of, Magus? Not the Night Song, surely? Why, she's nothing but a relic to be purchased and pursued. My God, the Night Song is a person. At last, there you are, my dear. You will address me with due deference. I am Dame Aelin. And you are a whelp without honor, without pride, with nothing but a tower full of trinkets. My apologies, Dame Aelin. I meant no disrespect. Perhaps we could start over. I am the Rowican. I am most pleased to make your acquaintance. And that of your fine companion, who perhaps heard I was looking for you. <sighs> Dame Aelin, I have discovered a device that would allow your immortality to be shared. It would cause you no harm. No pain of any kind. You serve your mother, Saluna, I believe. She who has blessed our realm with so many gifts. Honor her by sharing yours. You do not seek to share my gifts. You seek to poach them. You dare to threaten me with the same magic that held me in torment for a hundred years! <laughs> I had hoped to appeal to your better nature. Perhaps I overestimated you. Hmm. No bother. I have an arsenal of implements capable of convincing you to see reason. 
They say madness and genius are separated by but a hair's breadth. Perhaps the same is true of madness and stupidity. But his magic lives. I'd hoped you'd keep an open mind, but it seems you're determined to make this as difficult as possible. Boy, at the ready. Once I've taken control of the Asimar, she must go directly into the caging runes. No, Master Lerorkin. I would never have assisted you if I knew you planned such horrors. You lied to get the Night Song here. Made us all believe she was nothing but a relic. I have seen what true leadership can accomplish, but never under your tutelage. Watch your tongue, you child. I could make it such that no wizard in the realm will touch you. If they're all like you, I think that sounds like an excellent bargain. <laughs> Oh, face us, charlatan! We who detest you so! Mamadons! Imperatum! You'll have more gratitude than you know how to count. Shh, tell me. And choose your next words. And this? The choice. Milk, your visage is he indeed. Pray tell I will wring his neck. I Me for that impudence. 
Perhaps our friend can bridge the gap and do what... My steel-hearted friend speak... <laughs> you... <laughs> I had hoped to appeal to your better nature. Perhaps I overestimated you. Hmm. No bother. I ha... <laughs> you lied! Time for some bloody work.
fools these mortals be. Roican, you who would see me caged, you who would purchase my submission with profane gold. Let every wicked magus, every vile murtherer, each slaver and misery merchant see. Dame Aelin is watching. She is indomitable. And when her face lights the shadows of your wrongdoing, you are broken! by its beauty! <laughs> Elminster's not around. Father, can I go? The corpse regards you lifelessly.
Balthasar's notes. Balthasar's magic. Lower floor. Magic repository. Fault key. Pauses, perhaps resisting the truth. That bloody tiefling. The spell's power wanes. You can ask no more questions. use. 